<laughs> we have this uh, uh, like we have this spreadsheet right where we talk about drafts, and then there's usually someone that gets uh, deep dicked. <laughs> we, <laughs> we just have to choose who it is every single draft. <laughs> Well, I'm here on the third week of LCS to talk to Mithy, my favorite person to interview. I post all of his interviews. I never forget to post one from week one. And he was definitely my first decision to request for this interview. All this coverage brought to you by Omni Slash. So, Mithy, uh, again, I really wanted to talk to you. You were my first pick because Rift Rivals is happening. I want to talk to you about the EU guys coming over here. Could have talked to Sven, you know, but picked you. Um, what? <laughs> what? <laughs> what do you... What do you think of, uh, are you looking forward to seeing the EU teams come? Yeah, yeah, definitely looking forward to hang out with uh, Perks yeah. specifically and get to know the other G2 guys. Yeah. And uh, other than that, uh, hopefully get to hang out with uh, Paul, maybe Martin, never know with him. Yeah. But, yeah. What do you mean you never know with him? Martin, like sometimes he goes out, sometimes he doesn't? He, uh, he's, he's, su he's super nice, but when, especially with competition, he likes to you know, like isolate himself and keep the hand of the game so that he doesn't really like get influenced by other things. So maybe the last day, you know, never know, yeah. but depends on how the fanatic does too, you know, but, but yeah, it's, he, he definitely like, like gets into a different mindset when he's competing, so. We should say we're talking about Reckless, Martin Reckless. Yeah. Uh, do you think, do you think that'll still hit? Because one of the questions I have about Rift Rivals is how much will a team like that, like, how much will the teams there care? Because it is, there's like nothing on the line really. It's like a random tournament in the middle of the split. I'm not saying it's not hype. I'm just saying it's like, it's a lot different than like an MSI or Worlds, right? Um, yeah, I mean, definitely uh, the EU guys are just coming here for the weather <laughs> and the better food, uh, just like we all do. Yeah. But uh, I think there must be some kind of grudge from EU because they lost last time and they're flying all the way here, so they might as well try. That's kind of how I see it. Yeah. Uh, but at the end of the day, you never really know how things go. If they lose every game, they'll be like, yeah, we're, we're not caring if they won every game. They were like, yeah, we were not caring. We just shot on them anyway, you know, sure, so. Yeah, yeah. So it's it's hard to uh, find the real answer. Yeah. Well, 100T, uh, you know, they, they're they throwing in their subs. That's how, that's how confident they are against Europe, I guess, is they're like, we could just play with subs and it'll be fine. Yeah, I think that's pretty cool. Yeah, yeah. I mean, it's a, it's a good, uh, it's a good, thing for Levi, I think. Uh, he's not been doing super well in Academy, but he's been destroying me in solo queue and everyone else. So uh, I'm, I'm personally, I'm super excited to see how well he does on stage. Yeah. What are, are you going to be here? Or are you going to come and watch? Uh, probably not. I think, really? I think we're scrimming actually. Oh, okay. That's my excuse. Scrimming through the weekend? Uh, yeah. If we don't play LCS, we practice. TSM sucks. <laughs> Just kidding. <laughs> when you say TSM sucks, are you practicing because the team sucks, or are you saying you're practicing because the organization makes you you scrim? I'm enslaved. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Yikes. Uh, no. Okay. So you you practice a lot. So you uh, do you think it's a good thing? Are you happy to have kind of a week off, even if you're scrimming? Is it nice to have a little bit of a break from LCS? Uh, I'd prefer to play LCS. I'd prefer even more to play Rift Rivals, yeah. but blows. Yeah. So, yeah. I mean. I'm I'm down to scrim. Hopefully, we get some games against some EU teams and see what they're doing. Uh, yeah, I mean, yeah, for sure. Yeah. You say prefer even more to play Rift Rivals. So you wish you were playing in Rift Rivals. Oh yeah, definitely. Okay. How come? Why not? It's a uh, it's good experience, you know. Like even if even if the games are not like you're not playing for your life, you're still getting to play against a different like you're kind of opening your mind to different scenarios and different play styles. Even if they're playing the exact same champion, they might play matchups in a different way because you're just used to like your own little bubble. So it's very helpful, especially if you're like looking forward towards the grand picture, which is Worlds, yeah. playoffs. Do you think that the NA teams will gain uh, no like knowledge and experience from having the EU guys come over here? And especially the guys playing in Rift Rivals, is it, is it going to give them like a bit of a leg up? They'll probably get, they'll probably gain knowledge and experience in the long run, but in the short run, I feel like everyone will just get freaking confused. Yeah. The way things are right now, I think confusion is gonna be the the first thing that comes from Rift Rivals. Are any are any NALCS teams good right now? 
uh, I'm who so who, who was third? Who's third right Echo now? Fox. Echo Fox went. Like, Echo, Echo Fox, 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 Fox. Yeah. Fox. Yes. Yes. I was talking more in general. Oh, Are yeah. any NA teams good right now? Because I watch some of these games, Smithy, and I am not an analyst, but I am like, how did that team win? And how did that team, like, just look so bad? You know, they look so bad. They don't deserve to win that game. Yeah. The other team looked worse. That's why they won. It's just it feels weird right now. Uh, I mean, that's objectively always the case. But no, no, no. Uh, right now I'm seeing some really bad stuff. You're, you're not seeing it in LCK? Uh, I don't watch LCK as much. Are they all bad too? Are, is all, are there any good teams in all of League of Legends right now? There's just a lot of champions being played. So people are not as proficient on certain champions, which makes for a lot of mistakes. Then there's hard counter picks in a lot of lanes. And yeah. it makes the game more interesting for the fans, but less uh, consistent. Other than that, yeah. I'm not gonna say NA is good because, I mean, it's just it's just never been good. Yeah. So, well, uh, you're here. I mean, I'm here. I'm hopefully, like, I'll, I'll whenever I'm playing the international tournament, I'll be like, yeah, fuck it. Like NA is gonna do well, you know. But yeah. right now, uh, I'm gonna sit back and just see what happens, and then just blame whoever lost, just like everyone else does. Do you do you, do you not remember a tournament called MSI? 2016, <laughs> oh, yeah. where CLG went and got second. Actually, yeah, that was that was pretty insane. Yeah. Uh, I must. Do you say, not remember when we beat Rift Rivals last year, or we won Rift Rivals last year? NA has been good. You won Rift Rivals. Yes. <laughs> what you're right now talking about? How much you wish you could play in Rift Rivals, like blah blah blah, and now and then we we win it, and you're like, oh, yeah, it doesn't matter. I mean, it's a good experience, but yeah. it shouldn't really like. Yeah. Be proud of. And you can't say... Is that, you, your, is that your biggest achievement, winning Rift Rivals? No, I think the biggest achievement is probably uh, CLG getting second place <laughs> at MSI. And and maybe our biggest achievement is that you and Sven and everybody else has to come <laughs> over here, despite the fact that we're such a shitter region, Mithy. No, no, I'm not I'm not saying that. I'm just yeah, saying... Yeah. I, I mean, yeah, I... I What's what's the, what's the, what's the, where are we going with this? Yeah. yeah. Are, is NA going to win Rift Rivals next week? I hope they do because uh, Perks has been writing to me some very cocky things. Okay. And uh, I mean, I'm not really sure how Hunter Things is going to do with the new roster. I don't know how Echo Fox is going to do, but I trust that TL is going to clap them pretty badly. Okay. I really hope so because, yeah, I mean, this kid can't like go around saying the things he says. Okay. All right. Well, now you got me excited. I got like, it's funny. I'm kind of like, for me at least, I think of Rift Rivals. I'm like, it's just random tournament. Like, it doesn't, but then like this, this conversation happens and I just get pretty hyped. So uh, I think it'll be interesting. Behind the scenes, how are things going at TSM? Are you guys shoring up your issues? Is TSM going to rise once more? Uh, n not, not sure how it's like, if we're going to rise or not, but I definitely think that uh, the way our structure is, the way we practice, the way our team cohesion is right now, we definitely are a team that is capable of doing things. Uh, we haven't shown a lot of consistency in LCS, and uh, the meta right now is like, I don't know how, but I'm always playing a doomed bot matchup, or if it's not me playing a doomed bot matchup, then either Kevin is playing a doomed something, or Bjergsen is playing a doomed something, so... Uh, like we actually in our draft talks, <laughs> we have this uh, uh, like we have this spreadsheet right where we talk about drafts, and then there's usually someone that gets uh, deep dicked. <laughs> we, <laughs> we just have to choose who it is every single draft. <laughs> just like who is it that's getting screwed in this meta yeah, and this deep, draft? Yeah, exactly. It's like deep dick bot, deep okay. dick top. <laughs> <sighs> is that a mentality thing? I mean, shouldn't you guys change? that right like it's like who's gonna have the weaker lay or who's gonna who's gonna sacrifice for the team there's probably a better spin on that than that yeah i mean actually there's not because you want to have one side you want to play for and one side that wants to like play the defense kind of mode you know and because the other team is also humans that right. you know are trying to win so the problem is that in this meta the side that like the weak side can get some really weak matchups and you need to be very careful with that because people can just like I mean, I saw Lux in Europe the other day. I've seen Heimerdinger. Like, we banned Heimerdinger today, you know, because yeah. he played in solo queue once and I didn't want to play against it. And then right. instead, I'm getting branded in lane. So it's just like there's so much things that they can pick that you don't can't really predict like yeah. what's going to happen. So yeah, someone has to get deep dicked. 
Is that is it a good thing that there's so much uh, stuff that can change? For years, I've had friends that have been like, you know, in Dota, which is my game, <laughs> you can play any hero in any lane, and there's no such thing as a role, and anything goes, and it's a far more you know strategic game because of that. I I feel like the fact that a lot of different things can pop in a lot of different lanes should be a good thing. Yeah, I think it's I think it's very fun, and I think it's good. I don't know if we like if things keep going this way, which I think is the right direction if we have to like add more bands yeah. or something along those lines because it, it it's getting too hard you know sure. but uh, I, I really I really like it I'm not sure about the funnel thing that's the only yeah. thing I'm uh, skeptical about not in, I'm I don't want to say it's bad because I'm not playing yeah. like I, I haven't been playing the support yet in Peter, the Peter is very vocal that it's yeah. bad yeah I'm aware some pros are very vocal about it but I'm gonna stay skeptical sure. Uh, but yeah, I, I, like at least champion-wise, I love it, okay. personally. All right, very good. Is there anything that you want to say to any of the fans out there? I, your teammates already left, so I feel bad keeping you around. Uh, thanks. Yeah. <laughs> um, yeah, I just want to say thank you for whoever uh, like supports me specifically, because I've not been playing very well, I, I'm aware. Um, yeah, I'm just trying to deal with it. Like I tweeted about it. Uh, it's hard, but I mean, it is what it is, right? It's my job. So uh, yeah, just thank you for the guys that are sticking with me and supporting me through the bad times. I thought that was going to go a different route. I thought you were like, thank you to everyone supporting me specifically, not the other teammates that left oh. already. Like I just, who cares about TSF? Me, Mithy, support me. That's true, yeah. Okay. Support King. Very good. Thank you so much for the interview with me. But <laughs> also, you can check out the rest of my coverage of all things esports right here on my YouTube channel. I knew I could never escape this. I, I freaking landed my dream job at Riot, interviewing pros and stuff, and I still have to do outros for Travis. I just can't get out of it. Literally, you can't see it, but on my back, there's like a contract that was carved into me, like full on freaking FMA, Riza. No, that was burned into her, but you, you get the idea. So uh, thanks, Omni Slash, for this. Subscribe.